Hi guys, um, Megan here, and I wanted to give you an update of um, things going on in my life right now, and my life after TDC. Um, so, um, I was always told that I would be able to get a job, um, even with people having a criminal record or felonies or whatever. And um, But then I was also told it was going to be really, really hard for me. And so... I, for a year, I didn't work. Um, I just wasn't capable. I felt like, I mean, I, I probably was, but I don't know. Just, I didn't want to go into society yet. So anyway, but I found a job um, that paid under the table. And I, I worked there for about seven months and then I quit. Um, just, I had an issue with the manager and like, he was stealing my tips, and it's a whole big old mess, and maybe I'll explain that in another, um, another video, but my past is haunting me, like, I have tried so hard to find a job, like, so fucking hard, and no one will hire me, and then, like, I post on Facebook about how, like, you know, um, I can't, I can't find a job and I need help. Can somebody send me a list of places that hire? I mean, I Googled shit like, and so I get this list of places that hire felons. And so I'm excited, you know, and I go through this list and I fill out applications left and right. And then come to find out most of these places hire felony felons that, that their felon is seven years seven years or older mine is only two three years old two years old almost three years old in january january 28th i'm off parole woo but anyway um so i'm sitting here with no job <laughs> like i hate it i hate not working now that i've you know experienced life again and working and like I liked it. I liked having money and I liked saving money and now I don't have any money because I spent it. I mean, I, you know, need to get things and, but anyway, um, so yeah, that's my job situation. Uh, my mental health. Okay. I'm doing great. Um, I am no longer taking my mood stabilizer. Um, and I took a heavy dosage. I think that's what made me fucking bat shit crazy. Like, I really think that's what did it. Um, right now, I use a substitute, which is CBD oil. And I know that sounds so overrated, overrated, but it has done miracles for me. Um, not sure about anybody else, but it's really helped me. Um, oh, by the way, I just got out of the shower, so that's why my hair looks like this. But anyway, um... I'm trying to do this fast, um, so I take CBD oil and it's changed my life, um, so my mental health is like A plus now, like <sighs> MHMR wanted me to take this huge dosage of Tegretol and it really fucked me up, like I would go in these mood swings and just go fucking nuts and my family was terrorizing me, I mean I was terrorizing them. God, I can't talk, but anyway, um, and I was sick of it, like, and I was embarrassed, and e even after all the shit I would do, and it was just embarrassing, but anyways, I've been taking that for a year now, so, um, my mom and our relationship has totally changed, it's been wonderful, I mean, I am happy, I might not have a job right now, but I'm happy, um, and I can't say that for the first video. I mean, well, what my first video about mental health, like I was not happy. I wasn't doing very good, but um, it's totally different now. Thank God. Um, I still take my other medicine, but I don't uh, take Tegretol. I mean, that stuff, it was horrible. Um, but anyway, so... A few of my friends have gotten out of TDC and con uh, contacted me on um, Facebook 
and it's been really nice, you know, being able to talk to them. Um, but almost all of them have gone back to what they were doing before, which uh, it's really sad because like I met them in prison and I met them sober and they're good people and like they've, I mean, I know they're not good. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't good, but when you're locked up and you don't have substances, substances, and you don't, uh, you don't have things to get you high and you don't, you're normal when you're in prison. I mean, you, you know, you got your, your high alert on, but you know, you're pretty, that's who you are, you know, you're real. And I met a lot of people and I liked them and some of them that got out, I like them, but they're on drugs again, they're running from the police. And I, I can't, I'm not going to put myself in that kind of situation. So, um, I'll say hi or whatever, but I won't talk to them. Like, and I feel guilty about it too, because like, I know what it's like, but I'm, I don't want... I'm not going back to prison. Are you, are you crazy? But anyway, um, so I've got a few more minutes. Um, I am still searching for a job, so hopefully, I find something that anybody that will hire me. At this point, I'm going regular. I mean, I'll go to McDonald's. Like I don't care at this point. Taco Bell. Um, but uh. Yeah, so my life has gotten a lot better. It's um, starting to look pretty normal now, you know, and I'm excited about my future and I think about my future constantly. Um, and um, I don't know, I don't know what God has in store for me. I don't know if I'm going to be working at a good job or if I'm even going to be working. I'd, I just, I don't know what's in store for me, and I'm excited about it. I mean, before, there was no way, like, I was not excited about shit. And, um, but yeah. So, hopefully by January 28th, I find something. I mean, I want to have a job when I'm off parole, just to say, like, yeah, I had a job. And I was still on parole, so... But yeah, January 28th is when I'm done, and I'm so excited. Not that I'm going to do anything crazy, but I'm a, I want to have a party because it's, like, going to be behind me. Like, no more. There's not going to be any more TDC. I don't have to do anything for the state anymore, which is really exciting. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I really appreciate you guys watching my stuff, and um, it really, like makes me feel like I'm not alone so but um thank you guys for watching comment you know leave me a comment say hi or something let me know you've watched it or you know whatever you want to do but anyway I gotta go thanks for everything bye